Hey guys, VBAD here with another V Plays, and this is going to be a bit of a weird one actually. So this is a tier 10 battle, and as you can see, we got some humans on our team over here, and you know, I was figuring I'll break my losing streak by flying an aircraft that has extremely temperamental guns <laughs> and lackluster maneuverability uh, in a tier 10 match. But fortunately for me, for whatever reason, it put all the humans on one side. And there are no humans. I'm right-clicking. No humans on the other side. <laughs> well, we're going to see what we can do over here to possibly take out some of these heavy defenders. There is going to be a couple of enemy bombers coming over here. Oh, that was a good hit. You guys saw that one. There's another. Okay. There's a ground attacker over here as well. We do have Marksman 2 on this aircraft. For all the right reasons. Come on. Don't let that guy's tail gunner get you. There you go. I see the other ones over here. Can we... Burn the booster, maybe? And get after this... 287. Oh, we are really pushing the altitude on this thing. But fortunately, we also have the range. So let's see if we can be a bit of a sniper here. Ooh, that was a good hit. We just need enough to keep the nose up. Can we keep the nose up? Another good hit. Can we get another one? Yes! <laughs> and we picked up the zone. Took out one bomber. Good hit. Good hit. This is more just a showcase of the aircraft's gun since we're really just shooting ducks in a barrel here. Fish in a barrel? Ducks in a barrel? It's not ducks in a barrel. Why would I even say that? Anyways, so let's come down a little bit. We... Yeah, we're... We definitely went with the operated engine because that gives us a little bit more oomph in the uh, airspeed category. But there's that bomber again. I also see a heavy. I don't know. Let's let's not learn from our mistakes. Let's do it again, even though we're putting ourselves right behind that. In front of a heavy. Boom. This guy's up really high. But he's... Oddly enough, he's in range. But I don't think he's interested in me. And that's famous last words if I've ever heard him, but... Keep getting those good hits. You can just see these 257 millimeter cannons doing some serious work here. Trying to let these guns cool off. Again, very temperamental. But we got the hits. I see... The heavy... We got a good hit. It didn't get the hit and noise the first round, but that was three volleys dead. It looks like the 287 is coming back for more. And we're, we may lose this battle, even with two human specialized aircraft, FJ-1. We're doing our best. We, we came over here to get this zone and then defend the zone. Managed to do quite a bit of work over here. But I think the FJ-1s are over here defending. And it looks like the bomber's back again. Multi-rolls are usually really good at going after ground attackers just because of the huge hits they can deliver. Ooh, took a big old smack from that guy. Really hoping to get lucky here. To level off. We only got a single engine right now. Oh, come on. Maybe we can boost through it. Ha <laughs> There we go. Again, another bomber intercept. We really need to get other zones, but we can't afford to lose this one. Going into the vertical is never good for your engine performance, but we do have some boost to play with. Lost our engine yet again. Those two rounds look like they just went cross-eyed on us. Engine out, engine damaged. Come on. Get it back. Good 
Good hits. Another set of good hits. Got a Lambert. I would really like to get a win, guys. I mean, we're all these humans. We can't get the win. Let's dip the nose and get away from that jab. There we go. We got another zone. Gotta do that. Where are these shells going? Okay, let's pull off to the side. We'll come back around on this guy. We don't want to be around if he drops a bomb, which I'm pretty sure he just did. Yeah, that would have killed us. Always got to look out for those bomb traps. So we just picked up another zone. That's going to give us a bit of a hand. And it looks like our team is starting to converge on that location. Want to get some altitude back. We know there's got to be a bomber coming in here, right? Maybe not. Maybe the bombers are going over to the garrison now. It's hard to tell. We, both engines are damaged. I think that reduces output. Never paid much attention. Yeah, that ground attacker is pretty much done for. There is a multi-roll. Seahawk. Alright, let's see. Again, the range on these guns is just absolutely astronomical. True sniper platform. We don't even have this specialized yet, but you can just see the damage it's able to punch out. Squall line, or anything that's dead now is dead for good. That guy is gonzo. We just need to get within about 4,000 feet of the JU-287. I think he's going to be making a right turn. Oh, is he just going to leave? Let's uh, kind of get a little bit of velocity back here. Uh, there's a lemming train over there. Let those guys go kill him. We'll just make sure they stay on it. Dedicate some effort, boys. Victory is in sight. Keep it up. The FJ-1 can do some decent work against this ground attacker, but he also is going to take a lot of damage. Eh, I'll leave him to it. I'll leave him to it. We'll head to the airfield. We'll see what we can do over here. We still haven't picked up that military facility. I'm kind of surprised by that. A little disappointing that it's an all-bot battle, but it was also interesting that we didn't really have it si cinched up right at the get-go. Nothing's guaranteed. Oh, that was a good hit. Did you guys see that? Didn't make the hit noise. But we probably don't want to be here in 19 seconds because we're right in the middle where all the bot defenders are going to respawn. So let's make sure we're getting the heck out of here. I do see a bit of action going on over here. Yak-30, FJ-1, Jav, HG-2. Ugh. I don't know. It's the end of the game anyways. Maybe we'll, we'll do it. We'll just uh, drop a bomb there. Drop a bomb here. Oh, that's some AA fire. Oh, got him. What's this? Oh, an FJ-1. That'll be a difficult day. But doesn't much matter. 17k. Ooh, look at them medals. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Uh, Lambert, we picked that up pretty easily. And a lot of that was we were countering bombers, of all things. Uh, and you know what? Multi-rolls, they're, they're designed to capture a zone. And then they're also meant to defend the zone. That's why they kind of have the missions that you're supposed to do for your airframes in order to get the marks and stuff. The, your, your, grade, your grade 5 through 1. Uh, you pick that up through completing the capture. Uh, sectors captured, capture points, and then destroying while defending. So there's a reason they got this one here. 
Uh, it is a multi-roll, but it's more of a counter error multi-roll. It has two bombs, but they take 180 seconds to reload. Uh, tier 10 with 180 second reload on ground munitions is very long. Uh, on top of that, we also have uh, the 257 millimeter cannons. People kind of, like, I know I did. I'm like, why are people shooting at ground targets with a fighter aircraft or even a multi-roll? But uh, after watching Kyman Victus's videos and seeing what he does with, like, the Hawker Hunter and stuff with using the 30s against the light ground targets. These 57s, they are actually effective against armored targets because they're such a large caliber gun that you can use them to go after like bunkers at AA sites. Now I wouldn't use these as like a solid ground attack or all main guns, but guys, these are essentially cannon guns on an airplane, like from a tank. And then you've got the bombs to give you a little bit extra but you know it it can do ground damage work we didn't do much of it this time around because i really just wanted to shoot planes with big honking guns and that's exactly what we did again it was an all bot battle so it's not that impressive but you know we got a seventeen thousand personal point match out of it and we managed to kill 16 aircraft okay Seven of those were bombers and two were ground attackers. We did nearly 17,000 points of damage just to get those 16 aircraft. So that's averaging like, what, a thousand damage per aircraft? So, like, figure that math out. Uh, these guns are pumping out nearly 600 damage a second, okay? So let's do some rough math here. Uh, we'll pull up the actual gun stats here you are getting 60 rounds a minute. So that's a round a second. So that's 580 damage per hit of both of those guns. Okay. Now it does show you what damage reduction does because as you see, when you look at even the survivability of this aircraft, there's a resistance to damage number. I think that's a percentage. I think it is. Or maybe it's actual points. If it's actual points, that would make sense too. Like this reduces 45 points of damage from rounds that hit it. But um, you can see that when we hit something like the HG2, it ended up taking three volleys from these guns. Even though we knew we were getting solid hits, it still took a total of three. You, the first two got them pretty low and then the last one got what was left. Uh, but there is the damage reduction effect taking place because 580 damage if we were getting all of that damage all at one time we'll pull up our hg2 here the hg2 doesn't have a lot of hit points it only has 550 hit points with the configuration i have so theoretically we should be able to one shot it but again the resistance to damage is a 47. so we got a little bit of a math lesson as well taking a look at the i215 today um yeah it's not an aircraft i take out too often but i do think it's it's a neat plane it's it's very gimmicky when i use this is like the last one of the last lines i actually ended up grinding out uh just because after the yak 9 u the su 9 is just such a bear to play but i found the i211 to be fun but it's really kind of a what my son would call a meme plane it's a plane that's like something that is a lot of fun to watch it's like a kv2 of world of warplanes like it's just a massive cannon and when it hits it's amazing but when it misses it's just infuriating because it's such a low rate of fire and such a high overheat rate but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always i'll catch you on the next one